Hey guys, Craig James with GOM Magazine. You ain't gonna believe what we're gonna be cooking up today in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. You're gonna think I've lost my mind. Oh yeah, this nasty thing right here, the mudfish. I'm gonna show you a way. We're gonna go start to finish. We're gonna fillet it. We're gonna season it. We're gonna fry it. And you're not gonna believe it just how good this thing tastes. All right, let's go ahead and head to the fillet table and let's get started. Like I said, we got a mud fish, and I'm going to show you how to run through this real quick. First thing, it's real important. See all this ice? You've got to keep these things cold. From the time you catch them, they either need to be alive or they need to be packed on ice. So I start a little further back than a typical fish because of some of the bones, and his skin can be kind of tough, but you're just going to run down like that, get ready to... Flip him over. I'm left-handed, so it's kind of weird. But all right, all right. A little short there. Now, got a pretty piece of meat here. We're just gonna get it right off the skin, like this. We're gonna trim his ribs out. Oh. Like so. You're left with this really, I don't know if you can see that, but this really pretty piece of meat. What we'll do in a second is we're gonna flip this fish over, do the other side, and uh, we'll meet you back over on the tailgate. All right, guys, we're back over here, and the next step is it's really crucial if you're dealing with mudfish. You see, it's pretty meat here. Some people will tell you, oh, you gotta bleed them out, or you gotta do this, or you gotta, you wash them out real good, and this ice water here is going to do the trick. You want it to soak for about 15 minutes before you get ready to season it and fry it. This gives time for it to firm up some and just really cleans the meat and gets it ready to cook. So we're going to let it soak like that, and we'll give it 15 minutes, and we'll get ready to start cooking. All right, guys, we're back. We've had our uh, fillets, our mudfish fillets, soaking for about 15 minutes in this ice water. They've kind of firmed up now. And, uh, and they're ready for us to get started working with. So we're gonna take them out. You see, it's a really pretty fillet. I mean, nothing at all. We're gonna let it kind of drain some on that paper towel. There's no fancy way to do this. Now we'll let them sit on the cutting board, get this out of the way, and we can work with them. So we'll go ahead and salt and pepper them right now. I don't put as much salt on there as I used to because I'm getting old. Gotta clean my diet up a little. Flip it over, all right. We may put a little extra on there. There we go, a little pepper. Now, we're gonna go ahead and just slice it into whatever size you like. You know, I like, the, I know my kids, they like the smaller pieces, like so. They batter up real good and fry. This fillet's kind of wide, uh, wide, so we'll do like that. That'll be a nice piece. Just nothing to it. I mean, we're, you know, we're doing all this on a tailgate. I assure you there's nothing fancy about it. Anybody can do it. Now, you see this little piece of kind of grisly meat here? We want to cut that off. That'll be kind of tough. Just throw that away. You don't need that. Just a little excess fat on it. And see, that's the kind of stuff there you run into it that might, might make it not taste so good. Still edible, but not so good. So you want to look out for stuff like that. Everything I'm dealing with right here is pretty soft meat. I mean... So I got my grease heated to 350 degrees already. We're letting that warm up. We're just gonna chunk this in here and give it a little shake. All this is is just regular cornmeal. No fancy batter, no need to spend any extra money. I promise you, this mudfish is good enough to stand on its own. So we're just gonna give it a little shake, work it around. Just like any other fish nugget, if you made them before. We're gonna get ready to put it in the grease. All right, guys, we're getting to the finish line. We're gonna start dropping these nuggets in this roughly 350 degree grease. We're gonna give them a few minutes. Usually it only takes two or three minutes, just depending on what you're cooking in and the size of them. I better get moving faster. I'm gonna be left behind. There we go. I think that's all of them. We're going to give these a couple of minutes and we're going to be ready to eat some mudfish. All right, guys, it's my favorite time of cooking mudfish. We're coming out the grease. 
coming in hot here. Whew. All right, there we go. About got a little too hot, but I bet you it's going to be good. All right, we'll give these a couple of minutes and we'll do a little taste test when we're back with you. All right, guys, best part of the fish fry, about to do a little taste test. You see, it's a pretty white meat. I promise you, it's so mild. Eat a mudfish. I'm telling you, you won't never want to turn another one loose. This stuff's so good. Thank y'all.